From a Valentine's Day tragedy on board a cruise ship bound for Barcelona, and a view from inside a cabin as the Anthem of the Seas battled a crazy storm, to passengers off the coast of Norway who watched every piece of furniture go flying past them, and a ferry in Germany whose windows couldn't withstand a powerful wave. Here are 10 cruise ships versus monster waves. On Valentine's Day of 2005, the Voyager cruise ship was on its way from Tunis in North Africa to Barcelona, Spain. They were carrying 776 people between passengers and crew. Around 8 in the morning, the vessel began drifting through some choppy waters. Then, the unthinkable happened. A monster 40-foot wave crashed over the bow. It shattered the bridge window and destroyed the ship's electrical system. The boat was stranded, adrift at sea during a powerful storm. Cyclone Valentina was about to redefine the meaning of seasick. Multiple times throughout the footage, it looks like the ship is about to capsize. Imagine being stuck on that boat and seeing nothing but water out your cabin window. While there were some minor injuries, nobody got seriously hurt. Two tugboats were sent to assist while the crew restored power to two of its four engines. Without enough power to return to Spain, the ship diverted to the Italian island of Sardinia. Many of the passengers found other means of getting home. Some had to stay in the hospital to mend their broken bones. There were talks of suing the captain for sailing in such poor conditions. A spokesperson for the cruise company said the storm shifted south unexpectedly. The captain never saw it coming. The MV Viking Sky is a $400 million cruise liner operated by Viking Ocean Cruise, a company based in Basel, Switzerland. It was officially launched in 2016 and began serving customers a year later. On March 23rd of 2019, everyone on board got an authentic Viking experience whether they wanted one or not. The ship was heading southwest from Tromsø to Stavanger on the coast of Norway. Suddenly, she encountered strong winds and rough waves as tall as 50 feet. But according to the captain, the ship should have been able to handle the weather. That belief didn't age well after the ship experienced total engine failure. Nearly 1,400 people had to hold on for dear life. Oh my goodness! Holy shit! 
This area is known for its rough waters. Many ships have gone down here over the years, some dating back to the Vikings of old. To make matters worse, the wind blew the Viking sky toward a rocky shore. To keep the ship from drifting, the captain dropped two anchors. Then he put out a mayday call for air evacuations. About 450 people were airlifted to safety before the ship was towed away by rescue boats. The worst part of this whole ordeal? Some of the people on board were stuck like that for 48 hours. One passenger remembers a monster wave crashing through a door and flooding their restaurant. She said it was like watching the Titanic, but in real life. Now we've seen rough waves from the main deck and inside the cabins, but what does the captain see? What is going on through this person's head as they're watching monstrous 40-foot waves coming right toward them? Some of the best footage comes from the bridge of a vessel in the North Sea. Waves like this can quickly ruin anyone's day. This captain is pretty used to it. This video was filmed in mid-January of 2018 as powerful windstorms moved over Western Europe and the North Sea. This was either the tail end of Storm Eleanor, which began on January 3rd, or the early days of Storm Friedrich, which kicked into high gear on January 18th. The North Sea is one of the most treacherous bodies of water on Earth. It is often stormy, the conditions are rough, and thick fogs make it hard to see. Yet, its fishing grounds are some of the richest we've ever seen, and offshore oil drilling makes it worth the risk. Cruise ships are built to withstand 50-foot waves and 80-mile-per-hour winds. They also have large water-filled ballast tanks underneath to help stabilize the ship. They can list about 60 degrees before they're at risk of capsizing. They're made of heavy steel. That, plus the weight of the passengers, crew, cargo, and amenities, allows the ship to roll without capsizing. It can happen, but it's extremely rare. The windows are made of reinforced glass, built to withstand crashing waves and immense water pressure. This video from Australia shows how much punishment a ship can take. But how much is too much? Just ask these folks aboard a ferry in northern Germany. 
They encountered rough water while sailing down the Elbe River. Everyone assumed the glass would hold. Maybe they were too confident in its strength. There's a moment when the guy in the red jacket can't believe what's happening. He sat momentarily and then bounced when more waves hit the broken window. According to reports, Storm Elenia brought heavy rain, rough waters, and whipping winds to the area near Hamburg, Germany. After this incident, all trains, flights, and ferries were cancelled until the storm passed. The Anthem of the Seas is a massive $940 million cruise ship operated by Royal Caribbean International. It's on par with the largest, most expensive cruise ships in the world. Vessels like the Disney Dream Cruise and Allure of the Seas. And when most people think of Caribbean cruises, they picture tropical islands and drinks by the pool. But if you were on the Anthem of the Seas in early February of 2016, your Caribbean adventure was more like a tropical nightmare. That's because the Anthem got caught in a hurricane-force storm off the coast of North Carolina. Winds blew over 120 miles per hour, and waves reached 30 feet high. One of the resident musicians decided to film the view from his cabin, seeing as how he wasn't playing any music anytime soon. There's like weeds in the water. Yeah, there's a bunch of sticks in the water. That's not good. We're not moving. I think we hit bottom. <laughs> hey, look at it. Oh, oh wait it. for it. <laughs> I'm whale watching today. <laughs> oh, there's one. <laughs> Might be safer to jump on a whale and ride our way out of it. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh there's another one. Just see how high it is in the background. But it's weird because it's different now. Like it's blue water, but then there's like, it almost looks black. Like, And now we're really listing this way. Later on, we get to see what it looks like as our passengers try to walk down the hallway. It's like that scene from Inception, the one where Joseph Gordon-Levitt is fighting on the walls. Royal Caribbean said the storm near Cape Hatteras in North Carolina was more severe than expected. For everyone's safety, they cancelled the rest of their seven-day journey and sailed back to port in New Jersey. There were 4,500 guests and 1,600 crew on board the ship. The good news? They never lost cable connection and everyone could watch the Super Bowl assuming they didn't have their head in a toilet. Passengers also received a full refund and a discount on future cruises. The Viking Sky incident went from 0 to 100 very quickly. As the story goes, it was shortly after 12 noon when the engines suffered a loss in oil pressure. An alarm should have gone off, alerting the crew about low lubricant in the engines, but no such alarm ever sounded. A cruise ship's engines can only last so long without lubrication. After a few minutes, they can suffer severe damage. That's why things didn't seem that bad at first. To the naked eye, it looked like the ship was handling the rough water. Now is when the engines automatically shut down to prevent further damage. Items began rolling and sliding inside, and passengers were unsure what to do. It was too dangerous to get up and move, so everyone pretty much stuck to where they were. That's when things went from bad to worse.
According to a crew member who wished to remain anonymous, the engines began failing late Friday night when the ship first encountered the storm. When the emergency alarms sounded on Saturday morning, the ship was listing so badly that people could hardly stand up. He said they had to form human chains to hand out life vests. Many crew members didn't sleep for 48 hours as they tried to keep guests safe and calm. The Carnival Sunshine is a 100,000 gross ton cruise ship operated by Carnival Cruises. After debuting as Carnival Destiny in 1996, the ship received a multi-million dollar facelift in 2005. They built three pools, several new dining options, a spa, some nightclubs, and a casino. Carnival has sunk millions into the ship for over two decades. But in May of 2023, they had to stop it from actually sinking. Carnival Sunshine was heading to port in Charleston, South Carolina. They were returning from a multi-day trip to the Bahamas, and our passengers were excited to get home. Unfortunately, there was a storm brewing up ahead. Instead of waiting an extra day or sailing around the storm, Carnival Sunshine decided to go through it. The National Hurricane Center warned of a non-tropical area of low pressure that was moving northward toward the Carolinas. There would be gusty winds, dangerous surf, and strong rip current conditions. All of that culminated in the worst cruise ship experience of all time. One passenger called it 11 hours of straight hell. The captain came over the intercom and said they'd do everything to minimize discomfort during the storm. That's corporate jargon for, sorry, this is about to get really bad and there's nothing we can do about it. Lightning surrounded the ship. 40-foot waves crashed into the side. Water careened through balcony doors, and there was shattered glass everywhere. The crashing waves were so intense that they nearly threw people from their beds. Outside, wind speeds were between 70 and 90 miles per hour. No rescue boats or helicopters were coming. Carnival Sunshine was on its own. But after 11 grueling hours, Carnival Sunshine finally pulled into port. The ship underwent some quick cleanup and repairs and set sail for the Bahamas a few days later. There was a time when the Explorer of the Seas was Australia's biggest cruise ship. The 138,000 gross ton ship came equipped with world-class dining, rock climbing, a surf simulator, and an entire mini golf course. It could accommodate up to 3,000 passengers plus the crew. Today, it's outsized by bigger and better ships like Ovation of the Seas. But if you were on board Explorer in mid-December of 2016, chances are you weren't having a good time. That's because 182 passengers contracted a gastrointestinal disease, leading to some not-so-luxurious bathroom trips. Things got worse when Explorer encountered a freak storm and crosswinds of 150 knots. It sounded like every single plate in that restaurant broke simultaneously. The vessel was returning to Sydney from New Zealand when everything happened. Thankfully, everyone got over their stomach bug and seasickness. Weihai, China is a prefecture-level city and major seaport in eastern Shandong province. It's the closest Chinese city to South Korea, which is just across the Yellow Sea. On September 20th of 2021, a local noticed something odd in the water. A giant cruise ship was caught in shallow waves. Unfortunately, it was heading right for the rocky shore. Thankfully, the ship was empty at the time. It broke loose from the shipyard and drifted away thanks to heavy winds. Those winds pushed it toward the rocks, where it sat for three days. Most people picture Americans in Hawaiian shirts when they think of cruises. While the U.S. is the world's largest cruise-going nation, controlling half the global market, China is in second place. 
They're actually neck and neck with Germany and the UK. Australia comes in at a close fourth. The MS Epsilon is a 600-foot passenger ferry operated by Irish Ferries. The ship entered the fleet in 2013 to run passengers between Dublin, Ireland and Holyhead, Wales. It'll make that run twice daily, Tuesday to Saturday. It'll also ferry folks between Dublin and the city of Cherbourg in northern France. On February 11th of 2016, the MS Epsilon was heading back to Dublin from France when she crossed paths with Storm Imogen. The ship endured rough seas and winds whipping as fast as 60 knots, some getting as fast as 105 knots. One passenger said it was the worst ever crossing from France to Ireland. You're about to see why. You can hear plates breaking and loose items flying around the small dining area. People clung to their seats. We imagine they clutched their stomachs as well. Storm Force 11 winds caused extensive damage to items in the cargo hold. Thankfully, the captain diverted to safe waters and took shelter near the Devon coast. Passengers were supposed to arrive in Dublin around 11 a.m. on Monday morning. They didn't get there until lunchtime on Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.